So it's it's a film about um, the Maze prison in the early 80s. And it features a, a guy called Bobby Sands who, um, in order to get prisoner of right status for him and his colleagues, um, he goes on hunger strike. Um, and the film very much is about the environment of that prison, the heat spot prison in the maze in 1981 in Belfast. You know, I was interested in the sort of essence of, 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 of that sort of situation, really. The detail, the sort of, um, the surrealness of, and you know, how this extraordinary situation for them became ordinary. And I was wondering, I just wanted to make a film about it. When you get to a decision where you say to yourself, well, um, I am not going to eat until someone makes a decision where I can eat, and the possibility of me dying is, is a real possibility. That's sort of, that's kind of um, an awakening. It, awake, it was one of the situations at like 11 years old, that was, that was the, the, my reality. What brought me into somehow a reality at that time was, 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 was this event. The whole idea of in order, in order to sort of be heard, someone not eating. And it just struck me really as a child and um, you know, it's resonated with me and it stayed with me for these years really. I started five years ago in researching you know, this, what was going on then at that, that time. And it was through the, the, the material as such, I can't think of the real word, material's not the right word, it's not material, but it was about that process of research which led us, it was the, f the content actually led us to the form as such. You know, the content you know, allowed us to sort of develop in a way. We, weren't, we were free to do what the hell we wanted to do. So that if, if, the, if, the, if the content allows you to sort of uh, mold a certain kind of um, reality, then that's, that's great. So there wasn't any kind of formally, formulae or formula at all. It was a case of how, what works and what doesn't work. The whole idea of shooting it in real time was the whole idea of allowing it to happen, allowing it to evolve. Because up until then, we've had film time, movie time. And we're all sophisticated the film, film watchers that we understand film time. But then to have something in real time, for it to sort of you know, start with sort of a seemingly nothing conversation in the beginning and to pick up uh, into sort of a, sort of a real Torah debate is, is, is what was necessary for me. I wanted to stay in the hate block because this was the front line of the protest at that time, the front line. And I didn't want to go anywhere else apart from that world, which was for me the extraordinary reality. Everyone can tell you a story. That's, you know, it sounds very simplistic, but it's, it, for me it's amazing. Everyone can tell you a story. Wonderful.